This cake I'm going to make is actually a cake. I think not, that's my lunch, it's right? It's not styrofoam, anything. And uh, it's, it's like a, it looks like a chocolate cake. Ooh. The boo? Right here, right? No, ooh. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's better. And uh, covered uh, with a layer of buttercream in order to uh, get the fondant to stick to it. So I, I, I will mention that I grew up a Steelers fan. You know, I, I was born right about the time when it was like, you know, Franco Harris and Terry Bradshaw. And, and then my, uh, my parents did this really embarrassing thing like five years ago. But they had this picture of me as a boy wearing uh, like Steelers, one of those, those like pajama suits. Oh, it's so You know, so with bad. the little feet. And I had like a Steelers, uh, um, like a scarf on and a hat and gloves and everything. And they took this picture to Terry Bradshaw when he was in Pottstown giving a lecture. And he signed it. And, Thank them for, uh, you know, having their, their little boy be a Steelers fan. <laughs> and then they gave me this photo of myself as a child, signed by Terry Bradshaw. It's like, thanks, but it's really like 20 years too late, you know. <laughs> so that's my advice, parents. Do it while they're young. You need like a layer of buttercream, like a crumb coat on the cake so that the fondant will stick. On and drop. He makes it look so easy, right? This I feel like I should be a cake decorator. You could. No. It's really, yeah, it, it, it doesn't take much. Um, this is called enrobing the cake. Enrobing? Enrobing. Enrobing. That yes. sounds very uh, technical. It does, yeah. It's like when I, when I go to a hotel, the first thing I do is enrobe myself. Enrobe. You know? I like that. You get the nice robe out of the... Uh, I think that you just started that. That's going to be a now a technical term. <laughs> Hotels everywhere are going to be like, please enrobe yourselves. <laughs> Come, enrobe yourself. All right. I'm not sticking so well today. Pizza cutter. You could use a knife, too. Anything sharp. All right, there's one. Set that aside. I'm just kidding. I'd be into that. This is like a little second layer. Gonna second layer. So you wet it a little bit. Cut away. Before you enrobe it. Yeah. You like that? See, yes. I'm, I'm getting the... You're picking this up. The... Uh, yeah, really all you need in most cases for fondant to stick to fondant is a little bit of water and it just, uh, it sticks to itself pretty well. Now when you cut the cake then, you'll be able to see those layers? Yeah, I'm just going to do a, let's get some of this excess off. And I'm going to use this fancy uh, cake wheel you got over here. <laughs> all right. And just a little. a lot of weight on his shoulders, yeah. you know? He's holding How's he holding it up? Up. I don't know. It's the craziest thing. He's well nourished. Well, if you guys walking to the store, see the food dude can hold anything up. I think he's holding an entire turkey dinner somewhere in the store. Oh, 
Does that happen a lot? No, I don't. No. I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything? I didn't hear anyone scream. So that's good. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Hey. That's it. I made a cake. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>